Phil. What do you want? Nice well, boxing day. Just visit me neighbours, isn't I? Oh, very considerate. Well, that's me all over, isn't it? Let's just get one thing straight, yeah? Yesterday it was a mistake. I was really drunk and I was upset. And just thinking about it makes me feel sick. Yeah, well, you just keep telling yourself that and you might start to believe it. <sighs> Don't push me, Phil. What are you going to do? Tell Lisa like you did last night. She wasn't in any fit state to hear it. You lost your nerve. No, I didn't. I care about Lisa, and the only reason she is still in that house is because of Peggy. Well, that's where you're wrong. Because this morning she could hardly bear me to walk out of the door. Yeah, well, it won't last. And what about Steve? Where's he right now? He'll be back. Yeah. Yeah, of course he will. The Vic's open in half an hour if you... You want your job, be there. Right. What exactly do I have to do to keep it, eh? Just keep the punters at me. You can manage that, can't you? Hey, coming in? Yeah, give me a minute, though. I'm just going to get cleaned up first. What do you want? Drop of scotch? Yeah, it'd be lovely. Come on. What happened over there? Phil looked in the mirror again. Two pounds, please, Billy. Oh, and a drop of scotch for Steve. He's back. <laughs> Maybe we should go back. I mean, we can't leave little Mo sitting over there on her own. Yeah, it's a bit daft, isn't it, all that booze over there and us sitting in here? What do you reckon, Kate? I'm easy. Yeah, well, we know that, but do you want to stay here or do you want to go home? Naff off. <laughs> I want to go home. Well, drink up, then. Well, that's a good sign. He didn't throw anything at me as I walked in. How are you? Not bad. I, uh, I have Christmas lunch with my sister, you know. What about you? Oh, I spent it here with the Mitchells. All oh, right, I see. So you made your mind up, mate. What about? Whose side you're on? Steve, I'm not yours. I missed you. Yeah, right. You missed me so much. You didn't even return my message. What message? No, I called you yesterday lunchtime. I left a message on the answer phone. Oh, well, don't tell me I did all that groveling for nothing. Um, no, um, I mean, I got the message. So we're okay then? Yeah. Listen, Steve, what I did was wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry as well. Look, uh, can you take a tea break or something? Hey, come back over to my place. I've got your present. I'm dying to give it to you. Yeah, I can do better than that. I can take the rest of the day off. So what are we going to do then? Well, I think I'm going to have a lie down because all this excitement has just worn me out. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, come here. Not interrupting anything, am I? I'm taking the rest of the day off. Fine, take as long as you want. You've earned it. And as for you... Yeah, you want some more, do you? Oh, Steve, don't. If I was going to whack you, I would have done it by now. Yeah? So what then? The club. I've decided not to bother after all. Wind him up or what? Well, i tell you the truth, I was never that interested anyway. Just fancy taking off for you. So what's changed? Well, I, uh, I went in there and decided to handle it was cracked up to me. You're welcome to it. You know, things are just getting better and better. 